In this next video in our series, looking at the link between the gut microbiome and autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, we're looking to answer the question, can probiotics be used to treat ASD? Research has suggested that one possible way to modulate and improve the gut microbiome in children diagnosed with ASD is through treatment utilizing probiotics, but data to date has been inconclusive. So let's dive into what we do know about the possibility of probiotics in the treatment of children with ASD. Probiotics are defined as living microorganisms that, when taken in adequate amounts, can confer health benefits to a recipient. Actually, probiotics have gained increased interest in the 20th century as an option to alter the gut microbiota and restore gut health. Based on the research, probiotics have been shown to alter and restore the gut microbiota, reduce gut inflammation, and help with different GI symptoms such as bowel function. These promising results for probiotics and gut health have led to increased interest if probiotics could be helpful with people with ASD, who have been shown to have increased GI issues and GI symptoms. So what do we know about probiotic treatment in children with ASD? The research to date is inconclusive, and the data doesn't support the proposed benefits of probiotics in children with ASD. With that said, there are several studies that support the possibility that probiotics may alter autism-related behaviors and GI symptoms. To highlight some of these positive results, probiotic treatment has been reported to alleviate some GI symptoms, such as bloating and abdominal pain, as well as improved bowel function and stool type in children diagnosed with ASD. In addition, some studies have reported improvements in autism-related behaviors after probiotic treatment. While some research, like what I just highlighted, does support the role of probiotics in the treatment of children with ASD, the research in total is divided, and a good amount of research actually shows no improvements in GI symptoms or autism-related behaviors after probiotic treatment. This highlights the need for more in-depth and more clinical trials into the role probiotics may play in improving gut health and gut dysfunction in children with ASD. Something to keep in mind when discussing probiotics in the gut microbiome is that their engraftment has been reported to be transient, so the probiotics may not stay in the gut microbiome once they've been discontinued. In addition, Suez and colleagues in 2018 found that probiotics may actually delay the recovery of the gut microbiome after disruption, such as antibiotics. So the role of probiotics does not appear to be straightforward. We are still learning about the role that the gut microbiome may play in ASD, but there is science suggesting that modulating the gut microbiome may provide a treatment avenue to alleviate GI symptoms and possibly modulate autism-related behaviors. With this has come increased interest in fecal microbiota transplantations and probiotics as a possible treatment avenue. While we don't know if probiotics can be useful or a good treatment option in children with ASD, this is definitely an area to keep an eye on. If you liked this video, check out the rest of the videos in our series looking at the relationship between the gut microbiome and ASD. Also, if you want to know where this information comes from or read more about it, check out our blog. The link is in the description.